Hey guys, it's me again, Zoe, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a medical student studying in the Philippines. So in this video, I decided to share with you guys Google Chrome extensions that I found really useful and I think might be helpful for us, especially now during our online classes. So let's get to it. So the first Google Chrome extension I want to talk about is Todoist. So Todoist is basically a planner and what's pretty cool about it is that it is in sync with all of the other apps that you may have on your phone, your iPad, or even your laptop. So you open up Google Chrome and then you'll see the Todoist icon. And then when you click that, you'll see all the things that you have to do for the day. And under your tasks, you can even have subtasks, which I think is pretty cool. And you can even show the priority. And then over here, you just click it and then it, you're done. You can even change the view like upcoming, what do I have for the week or certain dates that I want to do. And you can also change the view to inbox, which is just basically a list of all of the things you have to do with the date already right below it. So for the next extension, we have Toby Mini. I don't know if you've ever encountered this, but like whenever I'm studying or when I have multiple tabs open and then I have websites that I want to read again later, I end up just pressing add to bookmark. But most of the time when I add it to bookmark, I kind of get confused what are the websites or what did I need it for because it's all just there. And it's kind of like taxing to organize it too much there on the bookmark bar. But here with Toby Mini, you can organize everything so much easier. All right, so Toby Mini works the same way. You just click the icon and you can open up Toby and it will show all of your collections. So collections are basically where you're grouping all of your tabs together. So here I have all of the websites that I use when I study in a day. And I can press this button and it opens up all of the websites that I use very easily. So this is for school and then I can even group them up. So this is cool. It's not really an extension. All Google Chrome can do this. You can group your tabs. So it's pretty easy to organize everything and it just makes things much more nicer to look at and neater and more organized. So yeah, I group all of these tabs together for everything that I need for school. It looks like this and you can even close it up like that. So it looks like that. Pretty neat. Open and close. <laughs> so again, with a click of a button, it's all open. And now I can all group them up into Onco and it will group up all of these tabs right here. If I want to open the tabs, I just click it and it shows all of the tabs that belong under that group and I can even open it into a separate window and I can even return it all back to the same window if I wanted to with just dragging it like that and yeah it makes everything really cool. So now another cool thing about Toby is that let's say Opta, all of these websites, I can share them with my group mates or my friends or if I'm working on a project with people and they can open it up like this. All of the websites I want them to study as well, they click this button and it opens up for them immediately. So I think that's pretty cool when you're doing group works and you want to share websites instantly. It makes it really cool to do that. Then you can add a note. You can be like, oh, links are already sent or whatever note you want to write there for yourself. And then, yeah, so it's pretty cool. So another thing I need to probably show you guys is how do you actually add stuff to your collection easily, right? So basically, let's pretend I'm looking for an article on prostate cancer. So I'm searching here on UpToDate, which I love, by the way, if you're a medical student, you have to get used to using UpToDate. So I find this article and I'm like, okay, this is something I need to study now. But I don't think I can read all of this article right now. It's pretty long. So then I can just save it for later. So I click onto the Toby icon and then I press Onco and then it gets saved immediately under that collection. And then already it's right there. So there it is. And another cool thing about Toby is you can actually edit the titles. Let's say I want it easier for me to read right away. Okay, this is the website for breast cancer. It's mostly about clinical presentations. That's all I need to read there. Or here, prostate cancer. So yeah, basically that's how Toby works. It's really just organizing all of your tabs so that it's very easy for you to access everything. All right, for the next set of extensions, these are extensions that I think will be very useful whenever we're studying online lectures, like we're watching online videos. So for the first extension, we have Video Speed Controller. So basically it is what it is, and this is how it works. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You, you can make it as fast as you want. You can go next and then you can go back if you missed something. So pretty cool because sometimes some videos don't give you this option. So it's nice to always have it there if you want it there. Next, we have volume booster. So I'm pretty sure sometimes you've encountered some videos that might be too soft. Well, this will be the answer to your problems. So yeah, if you encounter a problem, like you're adjusting all of the volumes already, it's already max, but the video is still soft, you just click this icon 
and then you can adjust the volume the way you want it already and then sometimes maybe you don't like it or it's too loud you can just turn it off right away like that so i really really like that and i've kind of found myself using this a lot so the last extension for enhancing our video watching studying learning online classes whatever <laughs> will be picture in picture so picture in picture it works pretty easily it allows you to watch the video while you're on other apps so all you have to do again is click the icon and then it opens it up to a new window for you and then you could be browsing searching things and it'll be there and you can adjust the size and what's pretty cool also is you can even use other apps also like i can be typing down my notes on microsoft word and then it will still be there the video will still play and if i want to go back to the video all i have to do is just press this button and it's back back to the website okay so the next set of extensions these are extensions that i think will be useful whenever we're reading or studying articles online it will help make reading much easier and look better and less straining for our eyes so the first one i want to share is alpha text so alpha text is something that can help change the font so that the article that you're reading will be much more pleasant to your eyes and less distracting for you. So most of the time you might be encountering articles or researches that have font that is hard to read. You just click the icon here and then you can adjust the size of the text and you can even adjust the font of the text that you're reading in any website and it fixes it for you right away. And also if you want to change the background color, maybe you want a page, you can adjust the color. And then if you don't like that, let's say, oh no, I don't want beige, I can make it off-white or you can hide the pictures in the website or you just want to clear everything you did and then just focus on the font. So yeah, here it is. You changed all of the font and hopefully it will make it more bearable for you to read such a long article. Next, we have Weva. So Weva, I, I love this. This is what I use a lot. It's basically a highlighter which allows you to highlight stuff even on websites. So I find it really useful, especially when I'm reading long articles online. So sometimes I feel like I get lost when I'm reading in between the articles and Weva allows me to highlight words quickly. So it helps me like study it and even go back to it. It works really great. So I find this very helpful, like I'd be reading research articles, then I can just highlight what I think is important so it becomes much easier to refer back to it. So yeah, you just drag the text you want to highlight and then you right click and then you can click what you want to highlight. And another cool thing is you can even add notes under it like stats, this, these are stats. And then if you press it, you can even choose a folder to group where your highlights are. So let's say I want a folder for all of the highlights on this on breast cancer. And then I can just save it. So let's say, okay, a while ago it was in Oncode 2 and I want to transfer it. All I have to do is just drag it here to breast cancer. So now all of the future websites that I highlight that will be about breast cancer will show up here. It's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> so let's say, oh no, I want to study Onco 1 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So it will show you all of the websites that you highlighted with non-Hodgkin lymphoma. With just a click, I'm already here at the website. Then I have to click the icon again. And then, okay, this is what I want to read again. So then I go to the place where I highlighted things and it's all saved for you. And I can just reread it again like, oh, okay, that's the info I wanted to read. So I think that's pretty cool and pretty helpful. All right, so this next one is for those who are, might be a little bit lazy to type so much, which is myself. So Google Dictionary is pretty helpful because with just a click of a button or a click of your mouse, a double click of your mouse, you can already have a word defined for you. And what's pretty cool about it is it makes it so much easier to search things even if it doesn't have that definition. All right, so you just click the word and it shows you the definition right away. And as you can see, sometimes it sh Weva shows up as well when you look for a definition of words. So sometimes Weva might be covering the word you want to define and you can't read it anymore. A technique there is to click at the bottom part of the word so it's separated like this. Or you can just press Alt S and then it will turn off the highlight tool for you. Google Dictionary isn't perfect. There will be some words it can't define, but the cool thing about it is if you click on it, you can already search it right away. You don't have to type the word or copy paste or do any extra clicks. It will just take you to the definition right away. Next, we have Screen Shader. So Screen Shader is really awesome because it helps reduce your eye strain. And I really love it because it can go in sync to what time you wake up and you can adjust it and they have recommended shades for you. And I don't know, personally, like when I've been using it, I've really felt less eye strain. I don't know how to describe that, but yeah, I just really like it. So this is how a normal website looks like. And I click on this icon if I want to turn on the screen shader. So 
it will start adjusting it to a color that I think will not strain my eyes as much. So if I want to adjust it, I can do it here. You could choose the recommended shade, reduce eye strain, or just so many options for you to choose from or even what time you wake up so you can also adjust the colors according to what you want and they can even show you what's the recommended color for you you can even adjust it according to your location so it will follow the natural rising and setting of the sun so i think that's pretty cool so again for me like what i do is most of my settings are if i click onto a new tab it will be normal like screen shader won't be on but all i have to do is i can adjust the setting over here so that it can turn on for all the other websites that i open so all i have to do is this so now when i open future tabs it's going to have the screen shader on so whatever tab there is open screen shader will be on but Personally, I like it that the extension only works when I click on it. And finally, the last extension that I have to share with you guys is called The Great Suspender. <laughs> so The Great Suspender is basically for those people who like having multiple tabs open and sometimes you're worried that your computer will just crash because of all of the tabs you have open. All right, let's say you're working and you're kind of worried that you have all of these tabs open and any moment now your Google Chrome could crash. But have no fear, the Great Suspender is here. You can suspend all other tabs to prevent that from happening. What's pretty cool is you can even adjust this yourself. Let's say you want to change the settings, you can do that here. And you can adjust which tabs to suspend and which tabs not to suspend. You can fix that all here. So sorry guys, as I'm recording my voice, it's starting to rain. So now you're going to hear rain and I really want to post this video already, so I'm sorry. So how this works is all of these other tabs are asleep and your computer is not working to keep them on. But if you want to turn on these websites again, you just click this and then it loads up the website for you already. So yeah, those are all the Google Chrome extensions that I have to share with you guys today. So I hope they've been useful. So I only gave 10. And if you guys have more Google Chrome extensions that you found useful or you really, really like, feel free to share it with me in the comments down below because I feel like that would help me too. We can help each other. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, if you watch this far if you watched the video until here thank you so much i hope you give this video a like and support me by subscribing so that you can also join me in my journey towards becoming a doctor oh my gosh i'm rambling a lot so yeah i'll end the video here thank you and bye <laughs>